And now, finally, the last report on the San Francisco Bay Area quake of 89. For this, we go to our reporter on the beat, Charles Conway. Charles? Chris, we're here on the streets of San Francisco where life is slowly returning to normal. Let's find out how people are feeling. Sir, I understand you lived through both the quake of 89 and 1906. First, tell us, what did you do after the 1906 earthquake? We built this city. Yes, and on what? We built this city on rock. Good. Not good. Apparently, too much roll and not enough rock. How about you, sir? Can you tell us who you are? I'm a man who lives in the city. Wonderful. Can you tell us where you were when the earthquake hit? High on a hill. Can you be more specific? Underneath the bar. A bar? That's strange. But if I just your and what were you doing during the earthquake? Rolling. Rolling. And what did you think? I see. And what about you, ma'am? What's the first thing you do in an earthquake? Oh. And what do you say when people ask you about the earthquake? I say I don't like it. But specifically, what happens? So tight, it apart. It's okay now, you're safe. And what do you do when the earthquake's over? You turn on the radio. Our station, of course, Chris. Ma'am, I understand you lost all your furniture. What would help you face the future? Oh, Lord! Won't you buy me a color TV? You, sir, how do you know it's an earthquake? When the lights go down in the city. And what's an earthquake really like? People in motion. What? People in motion. But how would someone describe an earthquake? You take a thunder from the mountain. You take a lightning from the sky. And what do you do during an earthquake? You got and where were you? Trucking like the dude I man. Where? In the streets of San Francisco. I understand you lost your Barker lounger. Where did you finally find it? Sitting on a dock of a bay. I'm sorry to hear that. Charles, excuse me, is there anyone there who had any trouble after the earthquake contacting their loved ones by telephone? Yes, Chris, I understand this gentleman, come here, sir, had trouble with the phones to what city, sir? In Cleveland. Anywhere else? Detroit. Anywhere else? Dallas. And? Boston and a Baton Rouge. And no phones to? Houston. You, sir? D.C. San Antonio and Liberty Town. And? New York. You, sir? Tulsa, Austin, Oklahoma City. Anyone else? Francisco so one might say, All across the nation. thank you. Chris, probably the most moving part of this earthquake story, apart from the ground itself, was the camaraderie and compassion of these people during the crisis. Sir, I'd like to ask you, how do you explain this selflessness in the face of such adversity? Is a curious thing. And when you helped out someone, what would you say? Is everything all right? But what about the risk to yourself? I don't care. How do you explain it? And you, ma'am, if you wanted to move away to a safer area, where would you go? Do you know the way to San Jose? Aha. Uh -huh. How about you, sir? Where will you live? I'm gonna leave the city. Got to get away. You chicken, ma'am. I'll just stay here locked behind the door. How about you, sir? Where will you live? In San Francisco. Ma'am? San Francisco. Sir? San Francisco. How about you, ma'am? San Francisco. Sir? San Francisco. You, ma'am? Chris, an amazing thing is happening. People are emptying into the streets in front of me, joining hands and singing their song, San Francisco. They're saying they'll rebuild once again, they'll safer this time. I'm being swept away on their shoulders. It's incredible. Back to you, Chris. This concludes our coverage of the Quake of 89. This is Chris Collingwood.